Welcome back and still at the premises of the historical mosque Al Azhar Al Sharif and uh, still talking about the uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and uh, celebrating uh, uh, the day of his birth. We are glad to be joined today by As uh, Asma Yusuf, and she's a researcher at Al Azhar uh, University. Hello and welcome. Hello. To our very special episode. Thank you. Thank you very much for being with us today on uh, Nile TV International and the very special day to be celebrating uh, the birth of uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. And uh, one of the main aspects of uh, the life of uh, Prophet Muhammad was that um, he usually or he always kindly treated people and he always kindly treated his family and uh, his wife. How would you comment on that and give us more lessons to be uh, learned today. All praise is due to Allah and praise be upon Prophet Muhammad who was sent as a mercy for all mankind. It's my pleasure today to talk in these few minutes about a glimpse of an aspect of the Prophet's mercy towards women and towards his family. If we uh, back uh, 15 centuries ago, we find that women were treated harshly, suffered from being denied from their rights. Uh, also, there is a female infanticide uh, was participated, but after Islam shined and the Prophet, uh, peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy for all mankind, he taught us that women are honored and their, must, must, their rights must be preserved. As woman, as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter, and also as a colleague, and so on. Uh, concerning um, a mother, it's narrated in Al Bukhari that a man asks Prophet Muhammad, who, is, who deserves my fine treatment? He replied, Your mother. And concerning wife, Nowadays, if we find a man who opens the door for his lady, we consider him the best and um, the most delicate, decent, and civilized person. If we look back for the core of this kindness and gentleness, we will find that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, used to lean down for his wife uh, on his knees on the ground to let her step on to get on the horse. He also said, the best of you is the best to his wife and I'm the best to my wife. Also, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, act kindly towards women. I advise you to, care, to take care of women. Yeah. Okay, um, uh, as you said, uh, Islam was um, had certain rules and came with certain respect and honor to uh, women as a wife, as a daughter, as a sister, and as a mother, and also as a member of uh, the community. And if we speak about um, the wife, um, the first woman to embrace uh, Islam was uh, Sayyidah Khadija and she was the wife of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and she, of course she played an important role um, for his uh, message to be delivered among his uh, followers and a companion. Tell us more about um, how Islam uh, paid respect to women um, and embraced and honored their role in the society. It's a great point. Concerning the role of women uh, in public life during the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, illustrates that women has a great role. He said women are counterparts of men. Uh, they have a great role in maintaining the progress of any society. For example, there are many jurists, female jurists and female scholars during the life of the Prophet, like uh, the mother of the believers, uh, Sayyidah Aisha. Uh, also, uh, during the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, women are keen on participating also in battles uh, as soldiers, uh, like Nusaybah al, uh, al Ansariya, and also like nurses like Rufayda al-Aslamiyya for nursing and lending a helping hand for the wounded. Um, I think um, how even uh, more we speak about the life of the Prophet Muhammad B.S.P. Uh, Abu Ham, we just mentioned a quick look and just an aspect from uh, his mercy towards women. Mm -hmm. Yes, during the uh, lifetime of uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be uh, upon him, and uh, still uh, at the same point, how did he see uh, the gender equality and um, the women taking 
a, a bigger role, a more prominent role at the society back then that we could be learning those lessons nowadays? I think as um, I have mentioned, uh, hair birds bathing in battles, uh, it's, a big, it's a big issue. Th that was a change, that was a yeah, big change back then. That was a big change. Mm -hmm. uh, they changed from being uh, disrespected, uh, uh, denied their rights, to be preserved, her, to be preserved, her rights were preserved. Uh, she can participate in uh, as a scholar, as a jurist, as a soldier, as a nurse, and so on. Asma uh, Youssef, a researcher at Al Azhar Observatory, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for inviting us for uh, to celebrate such a great occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much once again, and uh, we will be having a quick break, so stay tuned. Salu, 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 ala rasul.